Hey my cancers and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you find clarity through this message. You like the vibe, the energy, and you decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is always greatly appreciated. This is your message for the mid of October through the end. Um, or if you have cancer placements in your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, or anywhere else, cross watchers are welcome here as well. Just please keep in mind, y'all, that this is a very general message. It's not going to resonate with everyone. The entire message might not resonate with you. Just take what does and leave what does not for the next person. With that being said, if you are looking for something a little bit more personal and private to your situation, you can check out the description box below um, for the details as to how to book a private reading with me. So cancers. Ooh, we got two. Ooh, okay. So we got two, three showing up here. Before I get into these cards, um, like the video, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, share. The more you interact here, the more it helps me channel your energy and figure out what's going on with you. But the song that I got for you guys um, was Peaches by Justin Bieber. Um, so I feel like you're living, you, it feels like you're unbothered. Like you're living a life of luxury, whatever luxury is for you. Luxury could just be peace or peace of mind, balance. It doesn't necessarily have to mean, you know, materialistic things or taking trips or whatever it is. It could be, but, um, I just, I'm hearing just like luxury and unbothered or peace of mind and just very unbothered. Um, and then the next song I got for you guys is Young, Dumb, and Broke by Khalid. So, or Khalid, however you say his name. Um, so I was picking up on the energy of like, I feel like you're unbothered by someone, maybe a friend you grew up with or an ex-lover, okay? There's like some other energy showing up here and I feel like, um... Like somebody still thinks of you or you still think of this person cancer or somebody is still stuck in the energy you left them in or somebody never really grew up. Someone still acts like they're in high school here um, and you are just so above that. Like you're beyond that. You're above that. You, you know, you grow and mature as you should, as we all sh should with age. But someone is still stuck or stuck on you. Also, I'm getting with the young, bro uh, the young, dumb and broke is... It's just like something is it something or someone isn't worth your attention. Like someone has the energy of just lack mentality, young, broke, dumb, don't have anything going for themselves, just um lack all over, right? And you are just so in your circle, you're so in your energy, you're so unbothered. So there could be some gossip going on or some drama trying to start up or something like that. I am picking up on like an ex-lover, like from high school, a high school sweetheart or something that could be surfacing, resurfacing, or like an old childhood friend or something. Um, but let me know in the comment section exactly how that's resonating for you guys. That's what I'm getting for the next two weeks. And I wanted to keep this here because we got the card number three, heartache and loss. And then we also have card number three, recognition and reward. Something about like, like the same 24 hours or the same chances, like somebody, you and someone else had equal opportunity or someone had the chance to grow with you and glow with you possibly. And it's like, this person is more in a low vibrational state with the heartache and loss and you are more, you're getting recognition and reward. So life of luxury and unbothered and someone else is hurt because of that, or they're hurt because they're not a part of that or because they can't get to you or I'm kind of feeling the energy of misery loves company or something like that. But there's there's two faces, two sides to a coin. You could be dealing with the Gemini. Um, but it's like two complete, total opposite type of energy here. You got to let me know what's going on, okay? So please like the video, you guys. We are going to hop into it. I just saw card number eight, positive movement forward and new beginnings, okay? Starting back at one. Starting back at uh, from the ground up from zero, Spirit, what messages do we have for my cancers for mid through the end of October? This is the Psychic Oracle um, deck, if anybody is wondering. Excited to see what's going on for you, Cancer, for the next two weeks. So let's see. Spirit, we got Sacrifice showing up here. And this is card number 12, which is giving you another three, breaking down to a three. Threes have been very significant across the board for the collective. Um... 
So about Trinity and just uh, mind, body, and spirit, a lot of people are just making the changes necessary that um, makes them in, feel in alignment or actually puts them in alignment with their life purpose here. But we have sacrifice. I feel like there's you've been through a lot, Cancer. You've sacrificed a lot. Um, and you know what? It's like now, yeah, you whatever is going on for you, you've earned it, especially with that recognition and reward. You've earned it. You've sacrificed a lot here and you've come out on top. The rainbow is here. The promise, something is promised to you and for you. So you may be living a life of luxury or very peaceful or just unbothered. And people might think that you're stuck up or trying to guilt trip you or whatever, you know, whatever the situation is for you. But I just keep hearing like you earn this. And some people are still in a negative mind state or a way of being doing lazy or just focused on the wrong things. And that's why they haven't grown to the lengths you have here, Cancer. So you could be hearing some sort of, um, receiving some sort of backlash or something like that. But again, I feel like y'all are unbothered. Look, we got prosperity begins. Okay, so things are looking up for you. Something's taking off here, growth. We also has, um, have movement choices and decisions here. Feel like you got options, okay? And we have awareness, two cards of number one, one card of number two, and one card of 12. So uh, one, 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 two, two, something about that could be significant, 12, 22, however is resonating for you, okay? Um, something about your intelligence or your intuitiveness um your ability to kind of like manifest or maneuver through life and make things work out for you i feel like people are envious of you okay like they're envious um of you but you sacrifice it's like they're envious of your struggle or your something about the struggle or your lack of struggle like you sacrificed a lot but people might be looking at you trying to figure out how you got to the point that you are why do you you know you deserve to be in this position or you they feel as if you don't deserve it or somebody just has a lot to say about whatever you're accomplishing and how it's coming through for you okay and then let's see another one so you got three ones showing up here four ones with this one two twos um but the, you got the base chakra okay so security starting from the ground up we had that new beginnings now we're starting we're something about starting back at one, but now we have number one here. Then we have the throat chakra, okay, card number five, mental conflict, third eye chakra disruption here. Your balance or your stability is causing a conflict for someone else or others in general here. You know this intuitively, like people are disturbed by you. Look at all these chakras popping up. We got the base, we got the throat, mental conflict, we got the third eye chakra disruption, the fourth chakra, the heart chakra here, love begins. It's like someone is disturbed at the fact that you're not disturbed or you're not bothered here, Cancer. Let me know what's going on in the description box. I'm sorry, in the comment section below. I just saw the justice card, so it could be a Libra. I'm feeling envy though, like jealousy and envy with that justice card. Like somebody's pretending to be your friend, but they're not, or pretending to be happy for you, but they're not. Seven of Swords, but they're not. All right, sneaky energy here. Five of Pentacles here. Um, somebody like could be like wish secretly wishing you weren't in a certain position or you weren't happy or you weren't something maybe without them. I don't know if this is once a partner, a romantic partner, or a friend, or even a family member, like a sister, cousin type energy I'm picking up on. What's going on, Cancer? Um, ooh. The sacrifice. Okay, so we got the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Wands, the Hangman popping up here, the Six of Wands, and the Death and Rebirth. You fought for this. Like, you definitely deserve whatever this is. Whatever you sacrificed here, um, this happiness that you're getting, the Nine of Wands, like, you fought for this. The Hangman, you went through trials and tribulations. You went through phases where you were stuck, but you still came out on top, I feel like, because you're very resilient. I feel like you're very um, focused and just determined it just feels like you earn this. That's all I can say is you earn this. It wasn't given to you. You didn't cheat your way up to the top. You didn't, um, I'm hearing you didn't have to sleep around with anybody. So I don't know who that's for, but like you earned this, this rebirth that's happening for you right now, Page of Swords. Yeah, you did the work, you studied, um, you were disciplined here. And it's like, now you're about to cross the finish line. You could be graduating or 
just really signing off and closing a lot of major deals in your life right now could be dealing with a Gemini here, okay? Or Gemini could be watching you, an ex-lover could be keeping tabs on you here that you're holding back from with this Four of Pentacles energy, all right? Ten of Pentacles, yeah, somebody, um, I definitely feel like for some of you guys, you are holding back from a Gemini or some sort of love connection here. Um, Somebody feels like you got away, like I'm hearing the one that got away. What's this prosperity begins for my Cancer spirit? We got the Hermit card with Page of Wands. Yeah, so you've been keeping secret about something or you've been real isolated. Feels like the energy of a glow up. And I got this for Pisces too. So your sister sign, um, something with the water signs, the energy. But this is you finally launching something or you finally coming out and spreading some sort of news, good news with this Page of Wands here after a period of like keeping something to yourself um, or figuring out plotting or something like that three of swords energy a lot of you guys have overcome a lot of strife in your life for just um heartbreak or mourning heartbreak of a relationship maybe mourning just a lot of disappointments people who could have stabbed you in the back and wanted to keep you in this energy knight of wands yeah somebody thought that it was like all fun and games with you or they get amusement out of you being um, hurt or broken in the situation. I feel like this was someone that you used to trust, you used to try to work things out with, okay? It could be an earth sign or maybe somebody you collaborated with in some sort of way here. Pisces energy. It's like your intuition always would always nudge you about these people or this particular person. You knew somebody wasn't in your corner from the beginning. So maybe you started wasn't in your corner from the beginning. Look at the seven of swords study popping out here. Um, so you started keeping your moves silent, secret, or you just started moving differently. And it feels like it worked out for your best benefit because you got the 10 of pentacles and the nine of pentacles here. But I do feel like, like something's about to launch. Look at this knight of swords. Something's about to launch or something is being said here, or somebody has a lot to say to you. 10 of swords. I really feel like you use some sort of, um, betrayal or heartbreak as, as theme, as fuel to like, um, to launch you into this life of luxury and peace of mind and unbotheredness that you are embracing right now these last two weeks of October. I like it, Cancer. It's really straightforward, so I don't know, you know, how long y'all reading is going to be, but we are at 12 minutes, so let's see. Movement, choices, decisions, okay? So we got judgment. It's really straightforward. Look at this. Movement, choices and decision i can't even put get it out decisions judgment card like you're making a judgment call or you have already to release something here knight of swords still at the bottom of the deck what else is this movement choices and decisions seven of pentacles so judgment is taurus energy this is taurus energy too um let's see what else is this something about choices okay so choices um, I uploaded like a daily message on my Instagram and Facebook earlier on this week and choices was kind of like the main theme of it. You're making the right choices, something about the choices that you make in your life. And it's like, you got some sort of, people think you have a secret or maybe you are, you are holding a secret here. It's like you have the secret sauce or you got the secret potion. You got the secret way to go about something. Cause whatever you are doing, whatever movements you're making, judgment calls that you're, you're making here, judgment to the seven of pentacles, it's growing from this seven of pentacles to the ace of pentacles. Then you got the emperor card. You're focused on what's right for you. You could be focused on a Libra here. You got Aries, Taurus, Libra energy, but you're focused on what's right for you or getting justice in a situation too. Seeking justice. We got the strength card here. Yeah, it's a lot of, um, a lot of what was supposed to stop you. A lot of people who tried to stop you, like a lot of what, has stopped other people is not having an effect on you and i feel like someone could be feeling a way about that okay cancer so let's see spirit what else do we have for my cancers what is this awareness card for my cancer spirit awareness what are you aware of so you're faced with a decision right Something here started, you sacrificed a lot, something came through for you, but then there was some blockage that re that appeared or reappeared or some sort of decision 
that you're trying to make here awareness and now you're getting like the clarity you need queen of cups ace of wands possibly to surrender something or someone but I also feel like some information is really coming. I really feel like surrender because this four of pentacles is holding back. Like some sort of information is finally coming through. And it's like, it's the last, it's the last straw, the last piece of information you needed to make this decision to finally let somebody go, to surrender something. What's this uh, awareness card? Somebody's name could start with the letter A. I'm getting Ashley. We got the full energy here. Something about letting stuff go. It really feels like the energy of you just shedding weight, shedding people. I'm getting fair trade by Drake, like losing friends and gaining peace. There we go. Or losing lovers, losing family, whatever it is. Losing, insert blank, and gaining peace is what I really feel. Five of swords energy. And it's like now someone else is stressing or other people are stressing. It's kind of like you let go of some sort of burden that wasn't yours to carry in the first place and other people are stressing because you let go eight of pentacles queen of pentacles and you started focusing on yourself okay this gemini energy is steady popping up here libra taurus energy as well or you let go of one person and now you're focused on an energy or you're focused on new love or loving yourself self-love ace you got a lot of suitors popping up here a lot of options um and I just had that, I think, in the Gemini's reading. And this lover card keep popping up for you, which is Gemini's energy. So something about you and, and a Gemini, or you could be on the, would you be on the cusp, right? The cusp of like a Gemini Cancer. All right, so let's see. Let's pull this up for you, Cancers. Pull another spread. See what other messages Spirit has for you for the rest of october we already have the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck here you're blocking out the devil this is you on guard this is a blockage here like this is you've been through a lot right and maybe you were sacrificing yourself for someone else or other people however it's resonating but now you're choosing you nine of wands to the devil could be dealing with the fire sign or a capricorn um but somebody was interfering with your stability here or your money Okay, nine of swords, something was not making you very happy and you found a way to balance it out. I just feel as if however you chose to do it, whatever's best for you, someone else or other people are mad about it. Eight of swords energy. Yeah, you're blocking it and now somebody's in their head. Could be dealing with the Taurus, okay? So let's see, Spirit, what other messages do we have for my Cancers? What other messages do we have for my Cancers mid through the end of October? I'm seeing the Three of Wands. I really feel like somebody's trying to reach out to you. It could be a fire sign or just people in general are trying to get to you, reach out to you. But you already closed the cycle with the World card. Luxury, a peace of mind and luxury is what I'm really getting for y'all. All right, Spirit, what other messages do we have for my Cancers at this time? Ooh, Empress. Okay. This, I feel like this is you, Cancer. Of course, it's the energy of Libra or Taurus, but I feel like this is you and this is the Page of Swords. This is a person in particular or people watching you, however it resonates. <laughs> this is you and this is them. What do we see at the beginning? We had two threes, recognition and reward versus heartache and loss. This is you. This is them. Okay, so I don't know what's going on. People are like watching your glow up or watching you being this emperor or empress energy. Death card. And they can't do nothing about it. They can't do nothing about it. They also could have tried to stop you from receiving some sort of recognition and reward, achieving some sort of goal, feeling good about yourself, whatever this is, whatever this is or was. But they failed. They couldn't stop it. Could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. We got the Page of Cups. The Temperance card. Okay, people try to drain you here. Look at this Empress energy. Or people might be pulling on your energy a lot these next two weeks. Um, people that kind of just want you for their benefit or want you to help them level up in some sort of way. I feel like all these, like these people that are coming to you needing your help are people who doubted you, did you wrong, didn't reciprocate, talked about you, gossip, tried to take from you, stole from you, whatever. Like these, it's just a hater type of energy, um, temperance, but you're still balanced. Like somebody tried to block you and they're trying to figure out how the hell did cancer survive that or how the hell did this miss cancer something somebody could have tried to um 
She could have tried to um, stop you, stop you spiritually, like manipulating some sort of spiritual energy or magic here too. Four of Cups, okay. Nine of Swords, yeah. I'm hearing misery loves company here. Or you overcome, you just overcome something that was supposed to stop you here. Like you won. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how you balanced out this home situation, how you're getting this money, how, like, where is this continued line of abundance? I want to say line of credit for some of you guys. Where is this coming from? How is Cancer doing it? The moon card, how is Cancer doing it? They're unclear, they're uncertain, they're in the dark because you ended this cycle, death, right? Death, no rebirth, because after the death card, we got the four of cups. So usually I will say death and rebirth, but death and no rebirth. Now you're holding back your emotions. You're quiet. You're silent. You're keeping your moves to yourself, especially with this moon card energy. Um, and people can't figure out exactly how the hell you are doing it. Look at this. Four of pentacles. This, this is the people. This is the help. <laughs> so here comes the help. And I'm not even going to laugh at that, even though I did already. But like someone here is struggling while... This is you. This is them. This is you. This is them. But I feel like these people put themselves in this lack, like energy mentality, this struggle energy, or they deserve it because of how they treated you or how they tried to like finesse you or people in general here. Nine of Pentacles, they aren't happy here. Um, we got the Eight of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Like I feel like somebody might be reaching out to you. Yeah, Page of Wands. Like somebody wants your help. Um, but this is somebody I feel like that told you off or something. It's just, it's not adding up. Okay. So let's see. We got bless this space showing up at the bottom of the deck, which is all about blessing, um, cleansing your energy, your space, your home, your body, mental, your car, what have you. Sage, Palo Santos, rituals, candles, protection, whatever. Bless your space. Okay. I feel like you've already cleared out certain energies. Um, you've cut energetic codes and ties with people and they can feel that we got patience it says everything soon will come to light and then you will see things will be all right okay so just have patience if this hasn't happened for you as far as some sort of clarity or someone coming back or you just really being in your zone and feeling on top of things is coming we got heart healing morning now has had its time do not pay it a single dime emerge from the darkness a new day starts let light embrace the healing heart everything i just said so if you're not in this empress energy you soon will be or emperor energy it says walk about you discover your path and sacred walk about the trees are your people the earth is your tribe in indigenous lessons you find the will to survive this has come out almost for everybody um so there's a lesson about walking away from things that do not serve you um just aligning yourself with with what you should be in alignment with and people who align with you and we get forgive and forget so it says a ritual cleaning of pain and lies arise and awaking a new sunrise things are looking up for you cancer okay so let me know in the comment section how this is resonating for you feels like this is just a very unbothered energy like you know your worth you know um something is destined for you and no one can get in the way with that like share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time